morning guys so i'm up early my daughter's getting ready for school and just wanted to show i am going to go ahead and do another pocket letter because someone asked me to go ahead and make another video which is requested so i will make it for her um but i did want to show you which one i came up with last night this one is for a friend of mine isn't that cute how it came out but the, this is from the Dollar Tree, the sticker, tea time. And in the back of it, I will put the tea. So I thought that was really cute. It's got the little jars over here. I haven't filled the, I uh, filled some of the back up. I haven't um, finished filling that up, which I will when I'm ready to ship it out. Just wanted to share this one with you real quick. And again, we made this one together. <clears throat> I made a video on this one yesterday. And this one I have made a baby for yesterday. So today we're gonna do a new one. Again, you will need your trading card holder, baseball card holder. I got my supplies out over there. Got my three washi tapes, which I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use yet. So I have these designs out. I did already cut out my paper, which I have sitting over here. Um, might use this one too, I'm not sure yet. I've got my little wood chip pieces over here and over there. And today, I'm going to try to base the theme around this little girl. Isn't she pretty? Watch it, Bella. So, also... Let me put this aside. I don't want to get in the camera. She's in my face. Someone had asked me to just watch it better. To make a little quick video on how to make the buttons. I mean to make the, uh, you know, the little cute little buttons that I've been having on. And pocket letters. Now again, <clears throat> you will need a hole punch. Well, let me show you which punches I have. Which I made this one right here. So this is my little collection I got going on here. The little tag one, this little circle one, the heart, <clears throat> the jar, and the little kind of flower one. And I did went ahead and <clears throat> punched out, me and my daughter punched out a whole bunch and just put them in this little jar. And I also punched out a bunch and put them in here. <clears throat> and also, the paper that you would that I use to punch out, you can punch out any kind of paper you like, but I went ahead and grabbed this book from the Goodwill. It was only a dollar. And I used the pages from in here to punch out these little cute ones. So, we're going to start with this one. From the book, I used this hole punch, one inch. Now I just take the button, <clears throat> I do have a glue gun here, and I got it from Walmart. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause it because I'm going to put the glue in the middle and put the button on top so of it. quick example, I just made three of them really quick for you guys, um, just glued it on here glue the button onto this paper one and with this one I didn't glue it on because it had the little since there's a button it has the little hole here and I just punched it through I didn't need to glue it on so that's just a quick example and I often I also make the paper clips like these you know you take, take the paper clip for example if you wanted to put it on here you take the paper clip and you glue it in the back they're really easy to make I have a bunch made already. Um, yeah, so that's that. So we're gonna get started with the pocket light. So I have my card holder here. And what I'm gonna do is I already cut out the papers that I wanted to use for this, this little cutout girl, which I cut out. Um, I thought she was pretty. And yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and fill out the pockets now. All right, guys, this is what I came up with. I I left this one out because I'm going to go ahead and 
put these stickers around like I did the other one because I just thought it was cute. Give it a little bit more bling on that one. Um, so, what do you guys think? I try to make it so it can match her. So I'm going to go ahead and glue her on here. Again, with this pocket letter, I'm not going to fold into an envelope. I'm going to try to have a big envelope and ship it out. Send it off flat, not fold it, because I don't want her to get messed up. So, yeah, let me glue her on. Finish doing this, and I'll be right back. So I glued her on. Now, just wanted to warn you, when you use a glue gun, the glue dries really, really fast. Like when I was, when I put the glue on the back, it had already started to dry, so I have to have you push it down so it can dry on. Because that glue gun, whew, and it almost went through and burnt my finger. So let me go ahead and finish with this one, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and I finished putting the sequence around here. So this is how it looks so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, see which washi tape I'm going to use. Um, see, I think this one's too thick for right there. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Yeah, I'll go ahead and go with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the border around here with the washi and I'll be right back. Okay, this is the way it came out. Um, this washi tape, I believe I got at Michael's. It was so hard to open and I done wasted like a bunch of just trying to get it to open. I swear, it's crazy when you pay more for washi tape, it just doesn't work as well as the Dollar Tree one. Because the Dollar Tree ones really work. Like you just pull them, you rip them. I wasted a lot just trying to, no, no, just trying to get it to come apart. Like it was all stuck together. You can see the layers right there. It's ridiculous. And I paid like almost $5 for this. I won't be buying it again. And I actually bought two of these. So yeah, even though the print is really, really pretty, I just, I'll stick to my Dollar Tree one. And um, yeah, so that's the way it came out. Now I'm going to go ahead and look through my stickers, my buttons, and see how I'm going to decorate her. Um, I believe I'm going to use these stickers, and they were from the Dollar Tree, my favorite store, Dollar Tree. I have gotten <clears throat> these, I believe, from Michael's. I'm not sure. They're just little flowers, <clears throat> embellishments. Um, let me see what I come up with. I'll be right back quick example of what I've done so far I went ahead and put two of those flower embellishments inside here I, I didn't glue them because again whoever this pocket letter is going to could reuse them and I will be putting you know a couple of them in the back um, I went ahead and put the dream sticker here and it's also on top not inside um, I put some wood chip pieces in here the hearts and the arrows they're not glued in so again, she could use them and I will put some more samples in the back. I put these little clips here so that the wood chip, wood chip pieces wouldn't fall out as, you know, when I mail it out. Um, for this one, that little button that I made earlier, I went ahead and put in the middle here. It's not glued on. She can reuse that. And here, I put the little bling. Looks like she's standing on it, like a little stand. And over here, I put a belief sticker is also on top. Yeah, so let's see what else I come up with. All right, ladies, um, I went ahead and punched out some jars. So I'm going to go ahead and put these jars in back of here. Because what I've done is I made this one. I made this jar. When I did, I put another bling on top of it, which I'm going to go ahead and put... I might use that one or I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, <clears throat> but I did make three of them. Let me show you a better view. So 
I made these three here. You know, you just take the little dollar stickers and you, the little bling, and you put them across the jar. And some samples of them here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and fill this pocket up now. Right, so I went ahead and I did this pocket here. Again, I didn't glue it in. I just put it, placed it on top and side and put the, some samples in the back there. Um, so I got these three pockets done. That's the way it came out. I have these two done. This one is where I will be putting the tea. I'll show you which stickers I used. Okay, so these stickers I got from the um, Dollar Tree. I grabbed me like five or six of these only for the pocket letters because it's, you know, tea time. And you know, but the pocket letters are famous for putting tea in back of them. So he even says tea time here, which is so cute. Yeah, I'm gonna be making one with these. Um, so I went ahead with this one. I didn't use this. I went ahead and just used the little cup here. And the little, looks like they got tea in it with this theme coming out. Um, so this is how it's coming along so far. I only have this one pocket to decorate, which I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and see what I come up with. Okay, so for this last pocket, <clears throat> I decided to use these stickers again from the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> I love these little birds. I mean, for a dollar, they have some really good stickers, you guys. And if y'all planning on doing some pocket letters, go to your Dollar Tree and pick up some stickers. So, let's see. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and use this little bird and this little flower. So, let me go ahead and decorate this last pocket. And I'll be right back. Alright, and I think this pocket letter is done for now. Again, when I figure out who it goes to, I will put their name here. I'm going to like put hi here. You know, you put little things you want to say to them. So now I'm going to go ahead and put twine going along here and I'm going to find a tag to put here and I'll be right back. All right, so here's how this pocket letter came out. I went ahead and used one of those Christmas ornaments because it doesn't really look like a Christmas ornament and it's red and it matches. Um, I went and made, made a tie here. Uh, let me know what you guys think. It's pretty. I think it's beautiful. So I'll have this one. I kind of went off of this one because I'm loving this one also. I still have to finish it up with the twine. So yeah. I just wanted to do this quick video. Again, requested. And every time I get a requested video, I try my best to go ahead and film them before I go to work or before I get busy. I have no problem with it. So if you like this video and if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.